Let's talk about how to deal with downloading multiple files. So remember in the last video, the, the video on how to do a single file, we specified here's the exact file that we want to. Well now we want to download many different files. So here's what I've done in the interim. Let me just, uh, this time I'll pick Internet Explorer here. Um, you can use any browser basically as an FTP browser. If you are just incidentally looking for a good FTP client, I'm a fan of FileZilla. That's just my favorite one. So our credentials, just in case you did not watch the last video, we're going to log in to, SS, uh, to ftp.learnitfirst.com. Our username is SSIS158. That's the course ID here. And that's Learn It First is our password. So that's all I have to type in then is learn it first and I click on log on and here we just can see the subfolders here chapter 4 and I've added several files to chapter 4 so you can see the file names. Now let's take a look at a couple of things here. We've got obviously a group of related data you can see the orders information here that is a very common pattern that we see in ETL processes where you put some type of a timestamp on it uh, so we're going to talk about various scenarios we might want to download every text file not download the CSV you notice down here we don't want to get this guy here uh, oops, that didn't work out like I hoped it would. He's a CSV, so we might say, I want every text file. Or we might say, I want to get only those text files that start with orders. Or I might want to even be more specific and say, I only want orders in the month of October 2009 that are also text files. So we're going to be able to do that. We're going to do so with wildcards. So if you're comfortable at the command line, and you understand how command line wildcards work, then you're going to be comfortable here. Okay. So before we really go into it, let's just talk about the basic wildcards. And I'll switch to red uh, and use some text here. So in the FTP world, in the command prompt world, the asterisk means all. So I can match any character, really. That would be a more preferable thing here. So something like um, if I said star dot txt means get all files that end in dot txt. So every file in a folder that has a txt extension, for example. If I said star dot star, that says get all files regardless of extension. So basically, you're going to, with the FTP task, return a set, a collection of files in a folder, and you're just determining which files you're going to work with with this wildcard. Now the question mark, and I'll switch over back to blue here for this one, the question mark says any single character. So if I did something like question mark dot txt, get all files that have a single letter or single character file name and end in .txt. So for example, um, s.txt would work or 9.txt would work because it's a single character .txt. Most of the time, however, you're going to use this in conjunction with like uh, orders 2009 question mark question mark dot txt. And that would, in our example above, have returned that set of four orders right there. Okay. So question marks and wildcards. That's what we're going to need to know when it comes to working with multiple files in the FTP task. So let's do this. Go ahead and leave here. Let's come back over here. I'm going to add a new project. Notice that I have made the previous video files01.dtsx, and so it's included in that zip file. I'm going to make this one files02, 
So let's just rename that. And I will include this one in the zip file as well. So now what we want to do, let's just start with the FTP task. And I'm going to make my connection. And it remembers my connection. Oh, no, it doesn't. I thought it would have remembered my connection. FTP.learnitfirst.com uh, SSIS 158. Remember the same credentials we use to log into the FTP on Internet Explorer, right? That's all it is. Uh, we'll allow it to re retry five times, wait 60 seconds in between. Under the file transfer, we want to receive files. And we want to put them, we'll just store them in the root. And I've got to make my local path. Sorry, I'm typing in the wrong place. So again, as I know I said it in the last video, but just in case you didn't see that one, um, I'm doing this for demo purposes. In the real world, you have a very secure folder. You're downloading data. You want to lock that down to the proxy account or whichever account is actually executing the package. But I'm just doing this for demo purposes here. Uh, we'll overwrite the files if they exist. Let's just make sure they don't exist. They do. We'll delete them from, this is my local copy, right? So they're gone. Uh, so now the remote path, it will connect to the FTP. We choose chapter four. Now we do actually have to, when we're in here, we have to pick a file. So just pick something. It's not going to matter because you're going to overwrite it right here with your orders 2009-10 question mark question mark dot text. Okay. You got that? So now we're just simply filtering for only text files, .txt files, that are in the Chapter 4 directory with the question mark, question mark. Right. I say OK. And let's just run this and make sure that it's working right now. So we execute that. We can, shouldn't take it too long. Those are like 1K files a piece, if that. So it shouldn't take it very long. I have to hit refresh, and there they are. Okay. So pretty easy to download multiple files. You just have to know your wildcards. Okay. Now, I want to show you something about each of these files. 1,000, OK, three columns, order ID, customer ID total. Three columns, 1,000, 1,001, OK. That's 10, 11 has a 1 as the third digit, OK. 12 has a 2 as the third digit. I could have made that clearer, but. And 3 has a 3 as the third digit, OK. All the rest is really the same. 